Hey guys, what's up? This is Jen, and today we're gonna talk about natural minor versus harmonic minor. I know they can get a little bit confusing because there's only one note difference, but let's compare them side by side and see the difference in sound and how you would apply them with a chord progression. So let's do this in E. We're gonna start horizontally on the neck just so you can see the whole steps and half steps. So let's start with the natural minor. So we have open E, then a whole step to F sharp, which is our two, half step to G, which is our flat three, whole step to A, which is the four, whole step to B, which is the five, half step to C, which is the flat six. Now we have whole step to D, which is the flat seven, and then a whole step to E to resolve. So let's do that again. Now, if we want to play harmonic minor, there's only one note difference. So everything stays the same. We have the E, the F sharp, G, A, B, C. But now we're going to jump a step and a half to this D sharp, which is our natural seven then resolve a half step to E. So the only difference is, are you playing a D or a D sharp? If it's D, it's uh, natural minor. If it's D sharp, it's harmonic minor. So harmonic minor again, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D sharp, resolve to E. Now let's talk about some context where, where you will use both of those. If you are playing E minor to B minor, so that's the one minor to the five minor, then my suggestion would be to play the natural minor scale. So let's put that somewhere else so you get a sense for it um, vertically instead of horizontally. So we have just our standard natural minor scale with a fifth string root. So let's go over that. So we have E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, there's our E, G, A, B, C, D. So let's loop and find out what that's going to sound like. So we have E minor, two, three, four, to B minor, two, three, four, and so here, natural minor. I'm just playing the scale. Nothing fancy. But now, let's do harmonic minor in that same spot. So everything stays the same, except for remember that one note, which is D to D sharp. So we have E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. Now here's our D sharp. This is the important note. So I'm going to E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. Now stretch up here 
to that 11th fret, that's your G, uh, D sharp, sorry, D sharp. So, there it is. Now, the chord progression that you're going to want to use for that is E minor to maybe a B7. You can do B major as well, but it's really common to hear E minor, B7, or 1 to dominant 5. E minor, B7. So now let's loop that. We're going to have E minor, 2, 3, 4, to B7. Now when that B7 comes up, try to hit that D sharp. That's going to be the important note over that chord. So there it is. Coming up. It's really following that progression, whereas when we were doing the E minor to B minor, that B minor has this D note in it. And if you notice, that's the D note, so we're following that. So even though there's only one note difference, um, it's really important that you hit that note. Because, you know, with a B7, you want this D sharp, you hit that D, it's not bad, it's not awful, but it follows it better if it's that, and it leads half step into the E. So it pulls it much harder. You can hear that that natural seven or that D sharp has so much tension, it's just begging you to resolve it. And that's really important when we're talking about um, melodically building a solo, it's all about tension and release. If it all kind of just sounds super flowy, um, it doesn't tell much of a story. So think about that when you're soloing. How, how are you going to create tension? You know, in any movie, there's, there's, there's a problem that needs to be solved in some way. And so that D sharp um, is the problem that wants to be solved by resolution. Now you don't always have to solve the problem. Plenty of movies don't resolve. Plenty of songs don't resolve. So don't always feel like you have to resolve to the one. But those are some of your options for creating a solo that really follows the chord progression. So if you're playing something like a one minor to five minor, uh, I want you to do the natural minor scale. But if you're playing the one minor to five dominant or five seven, I want you to use the harmonic minor scale. And it'd be really cool if you kind of looped between the two. Play E minor, B minor, then E minor, B seven. So you can really start to hear the difference between that flat seven and the natural seven. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing the difference between the natural and the harmonic minor scale. Let me know if you have any questions. As always, this is a Patreon supportive video, so thank you so much to my patrons for, for donating money so I can talk to you guys about my favorite thing on the planet, which is this instrument, and uh, be able to spread the knowledge that, that people have spread to me. So thank you so much. If you're interested in figuring out how to support these videos, please go to www.patreon.com slash and I might send you a postcard. There's some Google Hangs, which are really rad. Um, I, we have such a good time in those Google Hangs and uh, some other rewards. And uh, we can talk guitar. Uh, I think that's it. Harmonic minor. Go get it. Go after it. Let me see some videos of you playing it, utilizing it. Talk to you soon.